Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today, you're joining me to look at a pen which I've had for quite a while, for nearly a year in fact, and that's the Twisby 580 ALR. Uh, a little bit of history about Twisby. One of the first pens they came up with was the 530. I think they followed that up with the 540 and then um, after that the 580 was the the latest iteration of this particular pen. So it's one of the first pens which Twisby developed when the company was formed. So um, quickly let's look at the box. So it comes in a cardboard box. I really like Twisby's packaging. Uh, so there's a little bit of verbiage here in terms of how um, 5, the 580 was formed. So basically you can read up on that. And in terms of packaging, it comes with a plastic case, which um, you probably can use as um, like a travel case if, if you wanted to. And the key thing about this uh, particular packaging is it comes with um, all the tools or rather just a single wrench that you can use to disassemble the pen, pen totally, right? In this case, it's a, it's a metal wrench if you buy uh, Eco, you would get a plastic version of this wrench down here and they provide a, a little tiny bottle of silicon grease for you to lube up uh, the piston areas. Um, you know, over time, those, uh, the silicon grease will kind of uh, wear off in a way. So that's nice. I really appreciate uh, the packaging of this pen. Uh, simple not too big and practical as well right so within the instruction set i'm pretty sure there's also instructions in terms of how to break this pen apart uh, take it totally apart so when twisby designed designed their pens it's always meant to be totally disassembled so you can clean out every single part so that's one of the big plus points of of twisby i'm i admit i'm a big fan of twisby um, as many people are and when I first got the Eco, um, Eco was my first uh, Twisby pen and then I followed up with the Go, I knew I just had to follow up uh, and explore more pens in the Twisby range. Um, so first of all let's take a look at the, the pen itself from the top. It, it has a very different logo compared to the Eco. It's kind of a raised plastic logo up here. And then um, you get, since this is the ALR model, you get little ridges down here in, in aluminum, I believe, um, on the top of the cap. You get a pretty round and clear cap, which, which is nice because you can actually see uh, the nib within there, I like that. You get a clip which is extremely, I mean, it's pretty stiff for me. Right, and I like the design of this clip. It's very classic, you know, no fancy protrusions and all that. So it's a very nice clip, in my opinion. Uh, very practical. Then you get the the cap uh, lettering or the cap band, and it says Twisby and Diamond 580 ALR in Taiwan. So I always like pens that have the model number actually written somewhere right um, so that's a nice touch and the reason for the word diamond um, there's nothing else much about the cap there is probably a slip and seal type mechanism here to keep to prevent the nib from drying out the cap is uh, kind of weighted towards the back because of the aluminum down here but the reason for the name diamond right um, in the F Diamond 580 ALR is because of these facets down here. So when I first got this pen nearly a year ago, I probably did not appreciate, um, you know, the effort and the design that came into designing these facets. I mean, at the lower end of pens, um, pick up any fountain pen that you have, and typically they would be like a round, uh, molded plastic and that's those are pretty probably very easy to make uh, but 
you know, to have the details of this diamond faceting is, is something, you know, pretty cool, I, I believe, and might not be in every fountain pen that you, you have in your collection. Um, so down there, um, down at the bottom, you get the, the piston mechanism. One thing I do not really like about this piston mechanism is that uh, it's smooth, right, compared to the Eco, which is faceted down here. It's much easier for you to kind of um, rotate the, the piston mechanism, but here it's smooth. You get a little piece of uh, a little ring down here in the color of the this particular pen, which is in the, I believe it's shadow gray. I'm not quite sure. Uh, and that's where you, you operate the piston down here. Uh, as mentioned, you can disassemble this whole piece down here and then clean it out, lube it and so on. You you get that very nice clear section, which I'm sorry, the body where you can see the color of the ink. I like to buy pens that are um, kind of neutral in their color. I don't like bright colors in my pens because I like the ink to show off the color of the pen. I mean, in the pen, um, you you and then moving up, you get threads, and these threads are. Say I wouldn't call them very sharp, but they are moderately, you can feel it. There's also a little O-ring down here. And then you get to the section part of the pen or the grip where you're holding the pen. And this is probably where one of my gripes about this pen was. For the longest time, I did not use this pen precisely because the section down here I felt was not the most comfortable section to use. For one, it is slippery. Um, I believe that when you design a section, it has to be a certain girth and you should preferably design it so that it's not slippery in any way. It, um, as you can see, these grooves down here uh, will help in preventing your grip from moving forward like so, but it will not prevent your your grip from slipping side to side, which uh, which is my my complaint about the section. The other thing about the section is it's relatively uh, slim, especially if you tend to hold your pens uh, right at the end down here. Right at the end down here, the section diameter is roughly one uh, centimeter or ten millimeters. If you're one of those that likes to hold the, the pen further back. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, so two things about the section, I, I kind of, you know, I if I were to kind of do it all over again, I might consider getting the 580 with, um, that's not the AL uh, version, but just the normal 580. That one comes with a clear uh, section down here. Uh, then you go to the nip. The nip can be screwed out and replaced with another 580 uh, nib. Um, in this case, I have the EF, uh, and as you see later on in the writing sample, Twispy EFs, or at least my particular version of Twispy EF, is not quite as fine as I would have liked. It's probably closer to a to a fine or me a fine medium in other brands like Pilot. So um, you get some scroll work. It is a Jowo uh, nib. And number five, uh, you get some scroll work, you get the Twispy logo, uh, the Twispy name, and it says EF down there. And then underneath you get the feed. So let's do a little bit of writing. And I will move the, the table up a little bit. So this is the Twispy. 580. I always forget the word diamond. So it's the, it's actually the diamond. And this is an extra fine.
so it's a uh, I'll be honest, when I got this pen, I had to do a little bit of nib adjustment. But after I, I did that, the nib is fairly smooth. And as you can probably tell, it it's decently wet, right? And nib width wise, um, it's probably not that uh, thin, right? Even with I do a reverse writing down here, probably when I do reverse writing, that's probably an extra find down there. So you can get an idea in terms of the thickness of this particular nib. Um, so most of the times when I get a twisty, uh, I have like five or six twisty pens. You might have to do a tiny bit of uh, tine alignment to kind of get the pens to write, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, if you're interested, uh, I can do a follow-up video to, to show you how to do it. And then once you do that, you should end up with a pretty smooth uh, nib with a tiny bit of feedback. So, uh, well, since I have the other twist bees in my collection um, out here, I'll just give a few closing words uh, about the 580. So first of all, lots of people um, I'm going to lower the table a little bit. When when you see a pen's uh, fountain pen brand lineup, right? Typically, the higher end pens. Uh, by the way, the 580 ALR costs um, 65 uh, US dollars at retail, uh, and that's kind of the highest uh, price pen. One of the highest price pens in the twist speed lineup as compared to the Eco, which is around 33 US dollars. I think the prices have gone up a little bit. So the 580 ALR is double that, uh, double the price of an Eco. Is it double the pen? Um, in my opinion, probably, um, maybe, maybe it's justified because of the design elements that the 580 has, the, the detachable nib, the screw in nib, the, the design of the facets, the, the overall better quality built. Uh, however, in my uh, my personal feel is that you know I would most likely buy two Ecos uh, and for pretty much the same price of the as the 580 ALR, right? So I mean that's my personal preference. Uh, obviously, the 580 also comes with the bigger nib. That's the uh, number four ish. Joe number four ish nib. But the first thing that you will note when I put these two pens together is that the Eco is ever so slightly longer, right? I mean, strange thing about, uh, and it, it's more comfortable to me. The, the kind of the strange thing to me when Twisby came out with the, with all their pens, I know that the 580 or the 530 was one of the first pens that they made was that they probably should have made this pen a little bit bigger as compared to the other lower end pens in their range, is, is my feeling. So uh, so generally, I think this is a, a pen which I, you know, I, I pretty much enjoy using. I love the way it looks. Uh, I think it's, uh, as per any 2SB pen, it's uh, even at $65, I think it's still pretty good value. Um, you won't be able to find many uh, $65 pens with this size, about the 13, uh, I think it's 13 centimeter uh, length uh, that writes well, has a, has a very advanced mechanism uh, relatively in the piston mechanism. Uh, gives you all the, the items in the packaging, which I mentioned earlier on. You won't, you probably won't find an equivalent pen like this out there. Uh, however, like I mentioned in my earlier comments, I probably would uh, get this pen in the non-ALR version uh, if I had to do it all over again. Um, and if I was very, really interested in the 580, right? So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please give me a like, uh, comment, and please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.